As a conductor at Amtrak, this, this train is yours from the minute it leaves its initial terminal till the time it gets to its final terminal. We're actually responsible along, you know, along with the engineer for the safety of the train. That is paramount to everything else that we do. We can collect tickets when time comes, but we are responsible for knowing the territory our train goes on. We have to know every square mile of that territory. We have to know the speed limits. We have to know when we're gonna change tracks and if the train's gonna get bumpy because our job is to make sure that everybody on this train has a safe first and then comfortable ride. Once we get done with the safety aspects of the train, yes, we are in charge of the revenue accountability. We are in charge of collecting the tickets. And of course, the fun part going around and greeting everybody who rides the train. At one point or another, we do have to meet each and every one of them, which is a lot of fun. The conductor is also responsible for handling anything out of the ordinary that comes up in the operating world. If that means that the train has to stop and the conductor is required to hand line a switch that is normally thrown automatically. And they will have to get, put their gloves on, get off on the ground, go up, unlock a switch, throw it so that the tracks actually change from one direction to another to allow different routing. Um, the train hits a shopping cart or some debris of some sort. The conductor, along with the assistant conductor, would be required to repair to the extent they can any damage that was caused uh, so that that train can continue to move. When you consider a career with Amtrak as an assistant conductor and ultimately a conductor, it starts with the online application process, online assessments, some physical strength testing, ultimately an interview and medical exam. And if you're successful in getting through that hiring process, and we bring you on board. You start with nine weeks of essentially basic training, if you will, in Wilmington, Delaware, which is where our National Training Center is located. The training to become an assistant conductor is very intense. You're away from your family for eight to 12 weeks, um, depending on where you're gonna work and how many rule books you have to learn. You do have to memorize a lot of material in a short amount of time. They teach you all the smallest aspects, all the safety things, the basic things about railroading that are going to be the foundation for everything that you do as you work at Amtrak as time goes by. They focus a lot on train handling and the physical aspects and then they also do, of course, your customer service, your revenue collection and things like that. But I will say that uh, the Wilmington, Delaware training was uh, it was extremely important. Everything that you learn there in time, you will use when you come to work here at the railroad. The instructors there are very seasoned. They understand all the aspects of customer relations from problem customers to happy customers. They have seen some of the things that have gone wrong and have a lot of life's lessons to, to teach you when you go to the class. We also have to know the signal systems for every railroad that your train goes on. My train, for instance, goes across two different railroads, which means I have to know the signal systems for both. When you test on signal systems, it's 100%. There's no 99.9%, .9%, it is 100%. If you miss one signal, you do not qualify. If you do not qualify, you can't be a conductor and you won't be able to work at Amtrak. So your ability to grasp and cling on to these things and to maintain it throughout your, your Amtrak career is very important. When you begin working as an assistant conductor or conductor, typically, based on seniority, you will likely work the extra board, which means you're on call 24 hours a day, roughly six days a week. You're gonna get a phone call two to three hours before your assignment, and you have to show up. You know, you don't know when these calls are gonna come. You're not gonna have the luxury of planning things uh, with your families. You're going to miss a lot of, of holidays. Um, you're going to be working on Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, your birthday, and things like that. And you're also not going to have the best schedule. You're going to work odd hours, overnight, weekends. Depending on the assignment, your responsibilities vary. Many of our assignments are road assignments, as we call them, which means you work a passenger train from one point to another. You may work the assignment in the same day and return to your home crew base, or you may stay overnight at a crew hotel and work a train back the next day. There are also yard assignments that are not necessarily associated with passengers on a passenger train. We can definitely wake up at different times every day, be on a different train every day, or kind of bounce around everywhere, which is also another great aspect that I enjoy about the extra board. 
is that it's diversity. I get to work with different people, get to see different parts of the territories that we work on. Uh, being on the extra board is great because you become very versed not only in all the routes for your particular crew base, but you also learn a lot of railroading skills that, again, when things kind of go awry on when you're out on the main line, it's uh, it's the things that those little skills that you pick up as far as switching and hooking up air hoses and all the different mechanical things that can happen become invaluable once you do finally have the seniority to hold a train on your own. As a conductor at Amtrak, um, there, there are various physical requirements, nothing overly strenuous, but it is a lot of continuous work. For instance, each of our cars are 85 foot long. Um, I only work a four to five car set. Some of our trains we work out of here are 14, 15 cars, but as the conductor, you typically walk that entire train, upstairs and downstairs, at, between every single station, sometimes twice, three times, depending on what's going on. So you really do need to be able to walk a lot, you need good shoes, you need good socks, you need to take good care of your feet. You're going to have to carry heavy objects. Um, you're going to have to help people with luggage and uh, things like that. I would say if you can handle 50 pounds, you can do anything we do here as a conductor. So some of the characteristics that's going to make you a successful conductor. Number one is punctuality. You have to be on time. You have to be neat. You're the face of the company. You want to project uh, a neat, clean appearance. Being organized and having attention to detail is critical. You also have to be a strong leader and employ crew resource management principles that you'll be taught in order to lead your crew. It is very important to understand how important teamwork is here at Amtrak. Everything we do is meticulous safety focus. It's about paying attention to little things and it's about teamwork. And you also have to be sympathetic and empathetic. You're going to be dealing with people from all walks of life. You're going to be in stressful situations and you have to maintain an even keel attitude at all times. So some of the exciting um, parts about being a conductor um, is that you meet so many people from so many different walks of life and on the train, you know, you do get an opportunity to talk to people and get to know them. I, it's very interesting and fun, the type of people that you meet. Um, also, uh, the benefits are great. You know, you're paid well. Um, you do get to travel for free. Uh, and it's, every day is a, is a different day. You know, every day is a, you will learn something new and experience something new. I love working in the yard, changing out the equipment, getting to use the more mechanical aspects of our job. I enjoy the, the, the teams, the crews that I work with. Uh, my managers are a lot of fun as well. But the passengers really, uh, being able to, especially when you get those children on the train, it's their first train trip ever, maybe on their way to Disneyland or someplace fun like that. You get to um, get to be a part of something that's uh, it's going to be something they remember a lot of times for the rest of their lives because they're always going to talk about that first train trip. If you're planning on hiring out with Amtrak, take that chance. It's a great career. It's different, but it's challenging and rewarding at the same time, I feel. And it really is what you make of it. And I really like it. I really like the job here. I really like what I do. If you're somebody who likes to have a lot of pride in what you do and likes to be a part of something much bigger than yourself with a lot of team members that all work together to make something really fun happen, Amtrak is the place to be.